Hello everybody. If you remember, in the previous lecture, we tried to find numerical solutions of difference equations using the simulation technique. Okay, so in this technique, the goal is finding a computation solution and finding the output from, for example, 0 to k is equal to 100 or something else. Okay, if your goal is to find an analytical expression, close or expression, it was not the best method. Instead, what we can do is we can find uh, time domain solutions or later we can find solution using the Z-transform technique. Okay, so let's try to uh, understand how we can do it in the time domain. Okay, so before going to the difference equation, let's remember our process in ordinary differential equations and continuous time domain. Okay, in continuous domain, we have an ODE. Let's assume that it looks like something like this. A is equal to x. Okay, so x is the input, y is the output. Okay, so what we do is, if you remember from your uh, OD classes, uh, we try to come up with a basis function which can solve the difference equation, which has the form of an exponential function. Okay, so uh, r is a parameter that is unknown, but we have the form. We've plugged this to the ODE and try to find the characteristic equation. In this case, it will be lambda squared plus lambda plus 1 is equal to 2. Okay, find the lambdas that can solve this equation and which will constitute the homogeneous equation of the differential equation. Then, based on the input, we will come up with uh, solutions called particle solution. And final solution will be of this form. Y homogeneous of T plus Y particle of T. And using initial conditions, we were solving the parameters in the homogeneous equation. Okay, so this is the basic idea, and we will do the exact the same thing for difference equations. Okay, so a difference equation has this form. It's an uh, n order difference equation. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to come up with a, a function which uh, depends on an unknown parameter which can solve the difference equation. So instead of exponential functions, we will use their uh, cousins, which are geometric functions, lambda to the power k, where lambda is an element of complex numbers or real numbers. It depends on the complexity. We can have uh, different uh, type of solutions. Okay, so then we will find lambda, possibly uh, find homogeneous solution. Okay, homogeneous solution. Okay, will be kind of as the form of lambda to power k, but of course we can have a couple of different lambdas. And then by looking at the input type, Okay, we will try to find a particular solution. Okay, in the particular solution, basic idea is guessing a form such that it can solve the difference equation uh, just plugging and finding the result. Okay, so it, the idea is similar. Finding a form, putting it in the equation, solving the parameters, and then checking at initial conditions, this will be the result. Okay, so the best thing to understand, the best way to understand is solving an example. Okay, this is a first order difference equation. Okay, y of k is the output, x of k is the input. And it's given that x square of k is a simple unit step function. And let's remember that in this class, we always assume that x of k, y of k is zero for k is less than zero. Okay, so, and we will use this condition to uh, technically find some of the parameters. Okay, let's start with the homogeneous equation. Okay, h of k is equal to lambda to the power k. Let's plug it to the equation. Lambda to the power k is equal to 1 over 2 power k minus 1 plus 0. Okay, so in the homogeneous equation, solving of the homogeneous equation, we assume that input is equal to 0. Okay, so let's take lambda to k minus 1 parenthesis lambda plus, okay, 1 over 2 is equal to 0. Let's check if it's correct. No, it's not correct because I forget minus. Okay, very good. So we want this to be equal to 0 for all possible values of k. So what we need to do is solving this function and equating it to 0. So this is the characteristic equation. And as you can see, since it's a simple first order difference equation, Lambda is found to be equal to 1 over 2. In that sense, we claim that h homogeneous of k is equal to 
1 over 2 power k times a constant c. Okay, so c is a parameter that we need to solve later using the initial conditions. Okay, that's great. So let's keep it like this. Okay, you know that. Now particle solution. Okay, in particle solution, we kind of ignore the dynamics and come up with an algebraic equation such that our particle solution can solve the equation. Okay, so input is unit step. What is unit step of n k is greater than zero? It's a constant. So I assume that my particle solution is a constant. Okay, so in that sense, y is equal to a is equal to 1 over 2 plus a. What is x of k? It's unit step. It's equal to 1, basically. So in that sense, a is equal to 2. Okay, I think it's great. So I found a is equal to 2. Let's clean everything. Okay, I know my homogeneous equation, so my h of k is equal to c times 1 over 2 to the power k plus 2. Okay, so how I can find c using the initial conditions? Okay, so uh, initial conditions, testing of initial conditions for different equations is slightly different and a little bit more trickier than the continuous time systems. Okay, so we will use the fact that yk and x of k is equal to 0 when k is less than 0. And what we do is, before checking this equation, let's ignore this, we will check this equation and we will simulate one step. Okay, so y 0 is equal to, actually it's the 0 step, 1 over 2 y minus 1, okay, what is x of 0? Well, let's say x of 0 here. Okay, great. And what is y0? We don't know. It's y0. Equal to, what is y minus 1? 0. What is x0? Is 1. So it is equal to 1. Okay, your solution should satisfy this initial condition. Okay, so you need to do a computation to find the initial condition also. Okay, so y0 is equal to c times 1, right? I think it's 1. Okay, plus 2, it should be equal to 1. So c is equal to minus 1. Okay, y of k should be equal to 2 minus 1 over 2 to the power k. So if you remember, it is the same result that we obtained using other techniques, direct division and uh, simulation technique. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it is fairly okay to solve a first order difference equation. Okay, good. And we uh, relatively easily computed the analytical expression for this difference equation. Okay, now let's change uh, the order and let's make this a little bit complicated by making input different. So unit step was easy. Now let's assume that input is equal to 3 to the power k. Okay, so what we will do, we will do the same thing. Uh, equate x of k is equal to 0, assume that input is 0, and finding a uh, homogeneous solution. Okay, so lambda to the power k minus 3 lambda to the power k minus 1 plus 2 lambda to the power k minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, that's great. So if I obtain the characteristic x to the equation, lambda to the power k minus 2 parentheses, lambda square minus 3 lambda plus 2 is equal to 0. This is my characteristic equation. If I solve it, I can find two lambdas. Lambda 1 is equal to 1. Lambda 2 is equal to 2. Okay, so this characteristic equation has two real roots, 1 and 2. Okay, so the first part is easy because I know that y of k is equal to c1 plus because uh, c2 times 2 to the power k. This is homogeneous equation. Okay, this is great. So in general, finding homogeneous equations is, is the easiest part. 
And it's the most important part because this characteristic uh, equation is the fundamental uh, portion of the dynamical system. Okay, go. So what we will need to do is now let's find a particle solution. Let's, okay, so do we have a space? I think we have a space. Okay, particle solution. Okay, so input is 3 to the power k. Okay, now let's assume that my uh, output y of k is equal to a times 3 to the power k. Okay, so I plug this into my difference equation. Okay, a times 3 to the power k minus 3 a times 3 to the power k minus 1, okay, plus 2a, 3k to the minus 2, x of k, what is x of k? I know that it's equal to 3 to the power k. Okay, good. So, when finding particle solution, we assume that k is higher than 2. What is 2? 2 is the order of the difference equation. So we don't try to find particle solution when k is close to 0, close to the initial condition, when things are a little bit tricky. We just try to find particle solution uh, after a couple of steps uh, passed from the initial condition. Okay. So what we can do is we can take this into uh, 3 to the power uh, k minus 2 parentheses. Let's do that. 3 to the power k minus 2 parentheses. Okay, a times, I think this is equal to 9. Okay, there is this 3a3. Okay, it kind of seems easy. Plus 2a, okay, minus 9 should be equal to 0. Okay, so if I look at that, this will cancel each other. a is equal to 9 over 2. That's great, right? I already found my particle solution, which is equal to uh, 4.5 times t to the power k. Okay, good. So it was not that hard. You will see that. Okay, so let's plug this to this. Okay. Okay, let's clean everything. Now I know the format of my solution. Okay, so y of k is equal to c1 plus c2 to the power k plus 4.5 times 3 to the power k. Okay, so what I need to do is just find c1 and c2. Okay, good. Uh, so what I do is I will do uh, the same thing. I will simulate my difference location starting from 0, go to 1. So I need to do this as much as possible, such that I can cover the C1 and C2. So what is Y0? Y0. OK, this is good. So is it Y0? Should we start from the Z0? Right, yes, we should start from the Y0. Anyway, OK, uh, good. Y0 is equal to, so Y0 minus 3Y. Uh, minus 1 plus 2y minus 2 is equal to 1, I guess. Okay? Uh, I think it's correct. It is 0 minus 1, 3 to the power k. Okay? So let's check the result. This is y0. This is minus 3y minus 1, 2 minus minus 3 is equal to because x of k uh, equal to 0. Okay, so this is 0. This is 0. So y0 should be equal to 1. Okay. Uh, exactly. Okay, so it's equal to 1. Uh, so what we obtain is, okay, c1 plus C2 plus 4.5, okay, it should be equal to 1. So I found my first equation, which is C1 plus C2 is equal to minus 3.5. Okay, so 
uh, I simulated my system for one step, and then I have an equation and two unknowns. What I need? One more equation. Okay, let's clean this. No problem. Okay, now compute y1. Okay, y1 minus 3y0 plus 2y minus 1 is equal to, okay, equal to, let's change the color, okay, x1, and x1 is equal to 3. Okay, so I know this is equal to 0, y1. I know that y0 is equal to x0, okay, minus 3, y0 is equal to x0, x0 is equal to 1, okay, should be equal to 3, so y1 is equal to, what it is, x1, 3, y1 is equal to 3, plus 3, okay. Is it correct? I think it's correct. Okay. So y1 should be equal to 9. Okay, let's check it a little bit. So y1 we don't know. Uh, we know that y0 is equal to x0 and it's equal to 1. Okay. And uh, this is 0. Uh, this is 3. So y1 is equal to 3 plus 3. It's equal to 9. Okay, good. So now let's plug our uh, equation. Uh, C1 yk is equal to, uh, what was the uh, our general form, let's try to remember that, okay, uh, c1 plus c2 to the power k plus 4.5 to the power k, so y of k is equal to, c y of 1 is equal to c1 plus 2c2 plus 4.5 times 3, okay, this should be equal to 9, okay, so in that sense, c1 plus 2c2 is equal to minus 7.5, okay, that's great, so now we have a different equation, so equation number 1, equation number 2, Okay, so we what we have, we have two unknowns, two equations. We can use using matrix equations. We can use just a simple plug and play. And then we can find that C1 is equal to 0 0.5 and C2 is equal to minus 4. Okay, so we compute C1, we count it to C2. And finally, we can find that Y of K has this form. Okay, good. So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, everything is nice. So. What is the take-home message here? As you can see, if you're solving a first or difference equation, it's fine. It's kind of relatively easy. When you go to second order, and when you also change your input type to a relatively uh, non-trivial uh, input, such as not with step or uh, impulse function, you need to do a, bit, a little bit messy computations. Okay, it's not hard, but you need to do like several different computations, uh, and you need to do some sort of bookkeeping. 